I want to welcome you back to Black Site Underground News that you can use. We're going to talk about Michelle Beadle saying that she boycotts football and she's leaving Get Up to go to the NBA. New programming. She's moving to Los Angeles. But let's speak on this young lady, Michelle Beadle. She is the big reason why ESPN is using, losing viewership. She goes on the show with her SJW nonsense that she's boycotting football because of the way the NFL and football treats women. Here's a young lady who's out of control. And you know, you just had the issue with Jamel Hill. Now you have Michelle Beadle who seems to do whatever she wants to do at ESPN. Did she forget that ESPN's biggest contract is with NFL Monday Night Football and that so many jobs depend on NFL, Monday Night Football, NFL Countdown, NFL Live. But she goes out there on air and says this on a morning program. Even if you believe it, you don't say it. And when she says it, she gets to keep her job. This is what happens when you can't fire these liberal SJW women like Michelle Beadle. If you was on your job and you was working in corporate America and you was selling a product that your company bought for billions of dollars and you stood up and said, I'm boycotting this product. Let me tell you how long it would take for your boss to come into the room and give you your walking papers. No, she doesn't get it. She moves over to NBA Countdown and she gets the chance to move to Los Angeles because they're so scared to fire women like Michelle Beadle. Michelle Beadle was the one who attacked Stephen A. Smith after he made a comment about women. She goes on Twitter, gets him suspended for a week. If I was Stephen A. Smith, I would have walked across the hall and smashed her. I would have just told her, hey, you keep your mouth shut and stay out of my business. That's what I would have did to Michelle Beadle. But she seems like she has the walk of the whole ESPN building. And she's supported by upper management at ESPN to do whatever she wants. It's not like she's needed over at NBA Countdown and those shows. I don't watch the show to look at her. She did something else when it was, uh, I think it was, was it Tracy McGrady? He would not eat something. She called him a coward. And she got away with that nonsense. She gets away with whatever she wants to get away with. With her smug, nasty attitude. She, okay, she has some comments on Urban Meyer. But she virtually got out of control. And people start sending her tweets like they normally do. But she gets to keep her job. This situation over ESPN needs, somebody over there needs to get this stuff under control. Because a woman like her seems to get a promotion, a promotion after what she said on Get Up. No one else could get away with that at a corporation in America, but she gets to do it because of her loud mouth. How could you denigrate football? Because of a woman's issue that your company just paid billions of dollars for. And if you're sitting upstairs and you the executive or you're the chief executive officer, I don't know if it's John Skipper, whoever it is over there, I would have called her in the office and said, this is it. You get one more chance to open that trap of yours or we're going to give you your walking papers. But they got so many, they got so much fear of the women's organizations, the SJWs, the people out there protesting, that this woman should have been gone from ESPN. I was glad when she went over to CBS Sports. Why in the hell did they bring her back? Nobody likes her. Who likes her? The people in upper management like her? Because I can't stand her. You never see a woman with such a shrill attitude. That's so unengaging. Why does she have a job? She doesn't make me want to watch NBA Countdown like she's something good to look at. 
and she makes everybody so uncomfortable. If you watch that show, Get Up, you see Jalen Rose scared to say what he want to say. And you know, Mike Greenberg, he was like, damn, why am I here? You understand? I got to sit next to her all day because if I say something wrong, she just might jump down my damn throat. She's supposed to be leaving August 29th. Hell, they could let her go right now. We wouldn't miss her. And we damn sure ain't going to miss her doing an NBA. But over at ESPN, they just don't know. You know, they still got Jamel Hill running around over there. Oh, they terrified to fire her because they don't want Al Sharpton and the rest of that Motley crew out there protesting. So they get to say whatever the hell they want. You know, they suspended Linda Cohn onto something, something innocent, and she is one of the hosts that's been here for 25, 30 years, one of the best hosts, and she keep it as in sports. She don't run around like these young girls talking all that nonsense. Would she want a woman's award? She probably will get one, knowing all the trash she talks. How? You, 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 when you look at somebody, you say, damn, how did she have a job? She don't know a damn thing. What's she going to talk about LeBron James for eight hours? This is disgusting. Then they wonder why their ratings down. They wonder why this show been cut from three to two hours. They're getting about two to three hundred thousand people watching them every morning. Who wants to watch Michelle Beadle? You tell me. So now they're going to have a rotating cast of four or five different women to do the show because she blew the show up. And everybody knows she blew the show up. Nobody wants to see her. But since the NBA is so popular, we can't fire her. So let's send her back over to the NBA. Oh, this is absolutely disturbing that this woman should have a job. She should have been fired. She should be fired right now. I want to thank you for listening to the Black Site Underground News that you can use. I hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button, hit that notification button, and share this video.